hooray! Um, my big brother, Scrapper, is, is here. Hooray! He has arrived! I can't wait to combine with him to form Devastator. Um, Scrap Metal? What, Mom? Um, leave Scrapper alone, please. <sighs> Sorry, Scrapper. I have to leave you alone. Our mom is calling me. Our mom is calling me. Sorry. Coming, Mother! Ugh. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of JJ Prime Reviews. And today we will be taking a look at the seventh member of, that's right, number seven. That <laughs> is uh, the seventh member of the Studio Series Constructor Guns that combine to form Devastator. This is Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class, number 60, Scrapper. So here I am, and there he is, and let's just take a quick look at the packaging for a moment here. As you can see, you have a nice image of Scrapper with some blue eyes. What's with the blue eyes? That's all I want to know. What? What? what what's going on here? Huh? Okay. He has blue eyes. He should have red eyes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Did they take this from Autobot Trench? From the last night, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> he's number 60, Revenge the Fallen. His name is Constructor Con Scrap, uh, Studio Series Transformers Generations. You have a nice image there, Devastator, with the Devastator logo. Thank goodness. You have an another image of Scrapper here. Number 60, Studio Series, he is a Voyager class, a class A Voyager, a Deep Voyager, <laughs> what's a Deep Voyager? A Class A via Hero and Class A Voyager! And on the back of the box, oh yeah, on the top says uh, Revenge of the Fallen. And here's the back of the box, the obligatory product shots. You don't see everything here, the, the big screen inspired is Scrapper, Decepticon symbol, Revenge of the Fallen, Pyramid Desert Battle, 36 steps, and his one sentence bio, which says, The Desert Sands Quake, as Constructicon Scrapper combines with the comrades to form Constructicon Devastator. If you can read it in multiple languages, you can do so. And warning! Please don't eat anything in this box, that could be very, uh... Very bad for you, not delicious for you to eat, not okay for you to eat, not really safe, right? Hey, <laughs> I literally just banged the camera. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, don't eat anything that in, the bo in this box that could be very bad for you. And that is pretty much it for that. So, moving right along, here we have Forge of Class. Scrap power, and uh, all I have to say, this figure does not disappoint. No, it does not. It does not disappoint. I mean, look at how big and chunky he is. I mean, look at that. Uh, before we start, let me get a little bit more light in here. There we go. Yeesh. <laughs> so, so we need to get a little bit more light. There we go. Much clearer now. So, there we go. So, there is Scrapper in his uh, big construction video camera. If my camera will focus, thank you. A <laughs> uh, little bit of gappy here in the scoop, but hey, it is what it is. Or, or you want to call this the big bull dosing part. Um, so, I'm still going to call that. So, call it that. So, yay. So, oh, really nicely done, really cohesive. Come under here. You don't see a lot of robots underneath, except for the uh, the wrecking ball going on here. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, really nicely done. I like the windshields, all painted in nice metallic blue paint. Really cool. Really nice. The rims are painted silver, which is really nice. It's a nice touch. And I do like that. Yeah, really cool, and he does roll. 
He does roll very smoothly. He rolls very smoothly. Now he does not come. He does not come with any accessories. What you see is uh, what you get. So let's move on to some of the uh, comparisons here. So now let's bring in all of his Constructicon mates that I have so far. Let's bring in. Oh my nose. <laughs> Sorry. Bring in Scavenger. Woo wee. Let's bring in the Scavenger boy. Big boy. He's such a big boy. Big 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 boy. Hey. Scavenger. There we go. Let me get straight. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got the scavenger. Where are the others? Where are the others? Bring in uh scrap metal. Bring in scrap metal, put them in the front, maybe. Uh, we don't know if I can do this, but hey. It's what it is. Maybe, let's put them in diagonal, diagonal location right here. More of a diagonal space. So let's see if we can do this without uh, fainting. <laughs> bring in Rampage. And bring in uh, Long Haul. Ugh. We don't. I don't even know if we can do this. Let me big mix master. Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do? It? Get them in all in frame. Hey, there we go. We got them all in frame there. There we have a nice set of constructed guns. We all just need one more. One more. That's overload. And um, <laughs> I know you would be expecting this review probably next week, but no. <laughs> I'm sorry. This uh, the review for Studio Series uh, Leader Class Overload will be uh, next month. So it'll come next month and I'll, I'll don't worry, I'm planning, to, I'm planning on getting him next month. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just sorry. <laughs> I apologize, but hey, it is what it is. So. There you go. And uh, there you have that. There you have that. There you have that and that. There you have that, and that. So yeah, um, now the shovel can move, uh, or the big ball dosing part. <laughs> the shovel can move up and down, which is a nice touch, really cool. Pistons are moving, you can see this is moving as well, which is pretty cool, I quite dig that. And uh, yeah, so now it's time to get down to the transformation. Let's begin. Um, so first things first, let's go on to combine mode, and we'll move on to robot mode as always with the combiners. So, so first you want to uh, rotate this peg down. Uh, uh, very tight ratchet. Woo. So you want to untab the wheels, back wheels. And now you want to untap this as well. And you want to bring this up, tap that in, bring this down. Flip out the claws, flip out the claws. And uh, what's happening here is that you rotate this around. You just rotate this around. Like that, like so. And these these wheels, these tabs will tab into I don't know, these these this tab, you can see this tab, you see right here this tab? That will tab in focus camera. Focus, focus. There is a slot right there, so that will just bring it down a little bit and make sure that it is lined up properly. Like so. Same thing on the other side, just line that up. And I think I think that's yeah that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it for his combined mode. And there you have a hand mode for scrapper. And um, yeah, sure. <laughs> now the instructions. I'm not really clear on the instructions, but the instructions say you bring this up as well. Huh? I don't know, but anyway, so uh, that's the combined mode. Sure, sure, that's it. That's 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 all you have to do. 
Sure, that's 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 it. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So let's get down to robot mode, shall we? Let's. So, what do we do here? You want to untab this, all this. Want to untab all this first? Eh, there we go. And just bring this out. Bring that out, so that they're out your way. And split the arms. Split all this, split all that, and then just bring this on the double hinge, you know, just clip it right there, and just rotate the legs, rotate the legs down, like so. So let's move on with the legs first. So now you want to rotate this section 180, um, if I am right, I don't think I'm right, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just bring this up like that, and then, and then now what you do here is you rotate this around, and that was just tab in right there, and oh no, I just bring this foot down like that, and raise this section up like that, and just rotate so that the knee is facing forward. So here we have a leg all done. Second verse is much like the first. So make sure that this th this piece is facing you. So now you want to rotate this. You want to rotate forward. Rotate this one. Rot you have to make sure that this rotates back. All the way back so that this can rotate around. And that will tab in like so and just open up the foot and bring that up and there you have his legs all done so what you do next is you want to take this section just bring them back you want to open up the chest right now and flip out his head which is going to be hard there we go flip out his head right now and just close up the chest, just like so. And now, uh, okay, ooh. Now just bring this whole section down. Oh, you wanna rotate peg in like that, so. so there we go. And that, just the shoulders, they will tab at the back right there. And now, you just rotate this around. Bring this down, there you have an arm all done. Second verse is not like the first, you just bring this out. Rotate this around so that it's facing uh, in. So, so, so uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I think we are done, are we done? Yes, we're done, Woo, we're done. And there you have Studio Series Scrapper. Hey, hey, hey. In his robot mood, and uh, yeah, really, really dig the design of this character. I mean, he looks awesome, he looks pretty cool, pretty dang cool. So, now let's take a closer look at that squished up noggin of his. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> That's a squished up noggin. You can see his little red eyes right there, his mouth. Yeah, really nicely molded. I love the black, the black paint on the uh, on the chest section right here. If my camera will focus. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, really nicely detailed, very screen accurate to what we saw in the movie. Yeah, really cool, really cool. Now articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint and his. Uh, it's on the swivel as well, so you can move. So my tongue starts working. <laughs> you can move left and right as well. You can use this hinge to look up and down. We can look up a little bit, move down a little bit. You can uh, rotate a little bit. You can <laughs> so the shoulders are on a ball joint, so they can do a. No, they're not a ball joint. They're not on the ball joint. They, they're just on a rotating hinge. They can't rotate the full 360. Uh, he has a bicep swivel. He has a double jointed elbow, which is nice. 
and you can use this hinge as well if you want to move the hand you know and the pincers they can move on this on these hinges right here this section can rotate this section can move in if you want it to and the legs uh, the legs uh, see this piece this piece can move up for reasons but hey I don't know um, the uh, the hips can move a little bit move out a little bit like that he wants to split his crush like that yeah you can do so but hey I don't choose to do so uh, legs can move up that far can move back that far uh, can move uh, as a uh, what's it called? A uh, thigh swivel? A thigh swivel. He has a knee joint, which is uh, slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And there is no ankle tiltage there. There's nothing you can do with the feet. So, so yeah, um, not super poseable. Not super poseable by any means, but hey, it's, it's something. It's something to note there. So yeah, so now for comparison, let's bring in his Constructicon teammates. Let's bring in Mixmaster here. Can we do this? I don't know. I don't know if we can do this. Let's bring in the scavenger, uh, the big boy. Bring in the uh, bring in the long haul. Bring in the, uh, let's, uh, let's see, bring in Rampage, can we, can we, can we get them all in shot without anyone blocking each other? <laughs> uh, let's see, bring in Hightower, and last but not least, Scrap Metal, and uh, actually no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that works out. <laughs> that works out. And uh, yeah, they look really, really good together. They look really good together. And I love this set of constructor cons. Can't wait for Overload to arrive. And once it's all said and done, we'll be able to combine all of these guys to form Devastator. Yay! Um, so, yes. So, uh, yeah. So, there you have that. There you have that and that. There you have that. There you have that. And that. Big boy. So yeah. So yes. So that's pretty much it for Scrapper. And uh, yeah. Really, really nicely done figure. And I, I, think, I think he might be my favorite of the, uh, of the Constructicon so far. I think so. Well, I mean, once Overload arrives, he's going to make me a liar. <laughs> so uh, I think once Overload arrives, I think Overload will be my favorite. I don't know, but hey, anyway, so yeah, really cool figure, really nicely done, very screen accurate, I like the uh, overall design of him, and uh, I think he's going to get a perfect score, a perfect 10 out of 10, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so uh, there will be more videos every week, so please subscribe to my channel today, and make sure to click that notification bell so that you can get notified when my new videos are up and ready and that is pretty much it so there is the studio series voyager class scrapper and this is jj prime signing off peace out